the executors page in the light shark here at the top allows you to have some rows and columns with different looks for your lighting that allow you to play back single cue playbacks at a rapid pace. These work great on a touchscreen, on an LS wing, or even a MIDI control or some sort of external control. Let's dive in and see how they work. First, we'll select the lights that we've been working with and select a new color. Perfect. Now we'll head over to the executors page. We can press edit, and now we have a record button or can use the record button on the LS1 and then press any of the plus signs to add it to an executor. Hold down to set and we can give it a name. Let's build a few more executors. Now I'll go and build a nice magenta executor below. And then we'll do a position executor where we'll just not use a palette, even though we should. And we're going to record a new position. Actually, I'll build a palette first. Activate that palette. And record that to a new executor in the second row. This allows us to see how executors work. Now I'll clear, and I'll get out of edit mode so that I can show you how executors work in action. By default, in the default settings, executors placed vertically above or below of each other will override each other automatically. You can see when I press the magenta executor, the green one stops and vice versa. Any in this column would do that exact action. However, side to side, they're both able to fire. Not only that, but on my touchscreen or device, if I swipe across, starting at the first one, and it is a little bit hard to get with a mouse. There, I did it up with my finger. You're able to activate the entire row of executors all at once, which is a pretty cool party trick. By default, that's how the executors work. Side to side, they're able to work independently, up and down, they automatically override each other, making for easy programming. This can work great for having the different parameters of lights when you're punting a live event. Note there are two groups of executor pages, so rows 1 through 8 and 9 through 16 are available. However, the executors can do even more than this simple behavior. If we go into the preferences and show settings, there is also an exclusive executors mode. In this mode, which is perfect for permanent installs, smaller spaces, or just places where you have users that might not be professional lighting people operating the lights, in exclusive mode, only one executor can be fired at a time across all of the executors. This allows you to fill this page up with looks that fill up the room with light, but you only want one firing at a time. For installations like those, the executors page can also be locked. If we go into the preferences and back to the show settings, there's a lock executor windows which you can turn on. You'll then be required to enter a password. Make sure you remember this. You will need it to get into the light shark. In this case, I'm just going to set a simple one. And I'm going to copy it so that I don't forget it. And enter it. Now, when I go to my executors window, if I refresh my browser, it's locked. All I can do is get to the executor window and all I can do is playback cues. I can't do anything else in the light shark. This is perfect for a lot of installations and spaces where you may have non-technical users who might want to access this via a web browser or tablet, be able to fire different cues, but not have the ability to program. By clicking on the lock, I can re-enter my password and now I'm back in. Note, don't forget if you're looking for to do an extended programming session or turn off the executor lock to do so here in the menu. Until you uncheck that box, it will continue to lock every time you reboot, refresh the page, or enter on a new device. As you see, now I have complete control and I'm completely unlocked again for programming. This is a hugely beneficial feature that can help a lot in some permanent installation abilities. Also on the executors page in the edit mode, we have the ability to set a color code 
on the buttons. So this can be really helpful for different types of parameters or even just colors. You're able to copy as well, copy executors from one to another, or you can copy existing queues from the queue list over to an executor. It makes a copy, places it on the executor. Executors may also be set as a flash button. So if you select the executor and put it to flash, now it will be a flash button, a momentary press that activates that executor. Have fun and keep creating great lighting with the Light Shark. Mm -hmm.